Today we're checking out Against the Storm. This is a survival city builder by developer Aramite Games and published by Hooded Horse. Uh, people keep recommending me this game, so I decided to give it a look. And so far I'm liking it quite a lot. Uh, it is difficult. Uh, it's kind of a roguelike twist to a city builder uh, where you establish a small city, gather resources, feed your people, and gradually chop down the trees in the forest around you. Uh, in your embarkment location. You're kind of attempting to survive in a series of different embarkment uh, locations, which is where the roguelite element comes in. You go to the citadel in the middle of the world and you buy upgrades for your cities as you go. I've beaten the game once, but in my game history I've actually lost quite a lot of times already. Uh, this game is not easy, but let's go back out to the main map. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more and then we'll get started and see if we can uh, hopefully win, but I won't guarantee it because it's it is a hard game. Um, this embarkment location looks decent. Um, anyway, uh, we're attempting to achieve a set of objectives as we improve our reputation as a city builder. So at Pyrock over here, I've already beaten this settlement. Um, and what we're basically doing is building up a colony to like improve our relationship and reputation with the queen at the Citadel. And presumably, like the volcano is keeping the world dry. I don't know, the storm is bad though. That's. I think that's about all you need to know. Uh, everyone's upset when there's a storm, and that's the way it is. Uh, so anyway, we, we are actually beginning with more embarkment bo bonuses than the last time. Reserve embarkation points. Oh, so I could actually keep these in reserve for the next time. Well, I'm going to go with a very successful run this time. Um, I'm gonna wonder if I can, I'm even gonna be able to do it like this. Nope, I'm not. So let's not begin with the clay. I don't really feel like we need that. And I feel like the eggs might be useful in case if we get, like, um, lizard people. So we're starting off with different types of villagers, too. We have beavers, humans. There's a lot of, like, nomenclature, I guess, here. I don't really know what I'm trying to say. We'll start off with some eggs. I think the roots and maybe the stone eggs might be good for some starting food. Oh, I have a little bit more room. Okay, I guess I'll take the roots then. That's fine. And I'd like to at least start with the beavers. There we go. The beavers will be most useful to me here because of their ability to chop wood down. Um, anyway, you are attempting to achieve like a set of goals from contracts from the queen. Uh, but as you progress through the different zones on the world map, you're kind of beset on all sides by the storm. And you get various bonuses and like drawbacks to each area. Um, whoops, I just skipped them over accidentally by clicking... Um, I didn't mean to do that. So we have some sort of food bonus here. Okay, we can see some of them here. Royal Outpost. The proximity of a Royal Outpost makes it easier to communicate with the crown. The pool of order choices will uh, increase by one. Okay, good. Events are going to come up that involve that. Uh, and Firekeeper bonus. So we're trying to keep a fire going as we're, like, carving our way through this forest around us. And I'm, I'm not going to start the game yet because it would be disastrous if I did. Uh, anyway, we're basically trying to compete to fill two bars in this. This is where the survival city builder aspect comes in. Um, also, Wampa Stampa and Tempest of Avarice. Thank you very much for the subs. But basically what we're doing is we are carving out more and more of a forest. It's very satisfying, this game. Oh, wait a second. Let me just turn down my volume slightly. There we go. Is that a little bit better? Can you hear me a little bit better now? I apologize for that. Anyway, we're attempting to carve out parts of the forest and, like, open up these glades. These glades, which are, like, clearings in the forest. That's what a glade is. Welcome to vocabulary. Um, they're going to contain other resources that we're going to need in our fight against the storm. Hence the title, Against the Storm. So I'm just going to kind of carve out a bunch of different paths that I want them to get through these trees. And I'm also going to, ooh, actually this looks like a good opportunity to just do it very quickly. I'm going to kind of pre-carve out these paths that I want them to do, just because it's gonna save me a lot of time later moving around my camps. And I'm also gonna try to avoid these ones with the like evil looking head on them. Uh, those ones are evil. Uh, so we don't wanna go there because we don't wanna have anything to do with that. Um, here we go, I've carved out this space. Uh, I'm not carving my way to the evil ones. Okay, we're surrounded on all sides by the evil ones over there. That's not too particularly good. Now, the evil ones do contain events that are good for us, and they can be really good, and if you know how to solve the events, they can be great, but I don't think we're going to be ready for the evil ones just yet, so hold on to your evil hat. Uh, and yeah, eventually maybe we'll give that a, a try. 
but I'm just going to open up all of these areas. Anyway, the wood cut, uh, excuse me, wood cutting camp is going to be in range of these first ones. Um, these are our villagers of different, like, racial types. We have humans, beavers, and lizards. But I'm just going to stay paused for a couple more minutes because I want to do some starting building choices. Um, and it's actually randomized from game to game. We don't have all the buildings unlocked. Man, it's occurring to me just how bad I am at this game because uh, I really didn't... I was not good at any of this when I first started. Okay, so we're... We don't have all the resources in the game unlocked. We have a couple of these basic things we've started with, like the eggs, the roots, the mushrooms, um, like a little bit of machinery parts, um, wildfire essence. These things will help us make new hearths later on. Um, this is like what's keeping everyone basically alive. Um, actually, I've never let the heart go out, but I assume that something very bad happens if it does. Um, but what else is there to say? Um, Michigan left. Thank you very much for gifting the sub. Um, okay, what am I going to start with? I'm going to go ahead and just build... Ooh, I have paved roads now. I didn't realize that I had unlocked this. Wow, that's actually a huge bonus. I'm going to wait on that just because I didn't start with any stone and I don't want to use up the stone right away, but that's going to be a huge bonus. We didn't have that in our last game. Uh, I just beat my first win in the game, so I'm by no means like an expert, but I have some idea of what's going on around me, although there will be some things that I learned. Um, probably quite a lot of them. Hopefully a lot of them by the end. Anyway, my beavers are getting to work. There they go. Um, anyone who's kind of like an idling citizen is just kind of like left to do nothing. The beavers are in the green. The humans are the ones that look like pill bugs. And then these are lizard people. Now, they have various like racial bonuses and things like that. So if I assign a human here, oh, sad, normal human. Um, but if I put a beaver there, it has this big like thing around it. Like some sort of clock. This means that it's a production bonus. So 10% chance of doubling the yield. We want to try to mix like race bonuses with each thing. And they each get different bonuses based on who's tending the hearth. Like beavers make it last longer and so on and so forth. Because, you know, usually beavers last a very long time. Anyway, Hello, um, AA and chat. as I said, we are trying to unlock various resources. Because the queen is going to grow very impatient with us over time. This is just sort of like an all-consuming force. Uh, it's not a very good government we're living in, and that's bad. Um, also, Lord Glompus, hey thank you very much for long the sub. Oh, Tempest of Avarice, thank you very you much for the very generous some real thousand horrible bits. Stuff the past two years. Ooh, gosh. So big thank you, and keep being the wonderful dude you are. Hey, thank wonderful. Oh my god. Hey, thank you very, very much. That's I Honestly, that means a lot. Hey, I'm happy that the videos have meant that to you. Anyway, um, we will we will continue. I hope you keep enjoying them. Thank you very much for the very generous thousand bits. And Kolovi, Vault, thank you very much for the sub. Um, okay, so the beavers are actually going in at the woods. I'm going to just be very slow here, just because I don't want to mess up things at the beginning. This is indispensable time. Um, so, um, this is a confusion. Okay, so since we have lizards, Trapper's Camp might be a decent start because lizards really like meat. They like animal products. Although herbs, we already have an herbalist camp. Like, I'm going to go ahead and show you. This is one of our base buildings. We have a small herbalist camp. I just want to make sure that we have access to the resources to begin with. Um, plantation is a building that we don't actually have at all yet. Um, use nearby farm fields to produce... Berries and plant fiber. Okay, plant fiber might be really indispensable to us because it can be useful for, like, cloth and clothing later on. So I'm going to go with a plantation because these are just kind of, like, larger versions of what we already have. Um, we get to unlock three buildings to start, so we need to be... V like, these are really important picks right here. Um, the kiln... What these things basically mean is... Like, the up chevron means you will produce a little bit at like a basic one but if it there's a plus sign i'm pretty sure that means that you aren't producing it at all yet and like this will add it to your list of things that you produce like cloth or what is it fab sorry fabric we already produce in a very crappy building but you know we'd do a much better job in here we would be producing three star mirth of it i think that might 
be about production speed, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, okay, the carpenter is really useful because it produces tools. I think tools might be like the most indispensable here just based on what I have experienced. So I'm gonna pick the carpenter over these two. Although the weaver is good, we can already kind of create fabric. I'm not really doing too many trade goods. I like to be self-sufficient. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with this. This is pretty good too because of the jerky, because of the, um, like the lizard people that could give us an early bonus, but I really want those tools. Okay, provisioner might also be good because we could get f ooh, flour and barrels. That's great. Now, the brewery would be useful, but we kind of need some of these base goods before we get the brewery because the brewery requires um, grain and a pottery. Uh, I mean, like, do we really have access to that? We could use barrels, but I mean, I need barrels from the other place, so... Cookhouse, um, we could do. Honestly, wouldn't be that bad, but we don't have that much farming set up yet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's get our... Yeah, I think Provisioner is gonna be useful here. Okay, so we picked out three buildings, and let's go ahead and check out some other stuff. We have the plantation, so we'll get the plant fiber. Probably later on, we'll unlock the small farm, and humans make good farmers, so we'll think about them for that then. Now, I don't love this location for this farm because I want to try to get in a lot of housing right by the hearth because the hearth will warm the houses nearby it. Oh, this is kind of an awkward arrangement, actually, of these particular buildings. I think what I'm going to do here is this, just because I want to, like, keep foot traffic flowing. Because uh, foot traffic flow is pretty important in this game. Like, look at how much time they spend uh, traveling amongst the paths. And honestly, a cause for concern. Honestly. The Reams, thank you very much for the sub. Hey, thanks guys for coming out to the stream for the first time. Sorry, I realize just there's a lot to say about this game. Like, I, I failed so many times before I succeeded at it. Um. Okay, I gotta make sure I get everything set up right. Other okay, cannibalism, I don't really want to like bet on me losing, so I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, I don't really like either of these. I would prefer to re-roll. Um, we don't have any upgrades for any re-rolls, so we're just kind of screwed here, honestly. We could take the money, but plus two to leather production. Eh, okay. Um, I don't really do a lot of leather production. It's not really my specialty. I could take the money, but I'm going to get money from other sources, I think, anyway. Um, okay, so now here we get our orders. So these are the things we're going to get rewarded for later on. Um, okay, so basically we're going to get reputation. So we will fill up Mr. Blue Bar and lower the Queen's impatience as we... At least I think we do when we complete some of these challenges. So we have to pick like which contract we want. Okay, so either we get six humans and we get all of this stuff for it. Ooh, the small farm would actually be a great reward here. Although these tools are also fantastic. Um... I just feel like getting another building to get more resources is going to be use more useful than these ones right now. Although these are, are really useful. How many humans do we have to start? We have only one human. So we're going to need to get offered the humans. So this will take a little bit of time, but I want to open up the other one. So I will take the six humans because we're bound to have them. Um, complete any one Glade event. That's going to be pretty basic as well as the building materials. You know, I really haven't done with much good delivery, although maybe I could. Although, I like doing the Glade events. And we do get new villagers for that. So let's go with the new villagers. Uh, oh, we could get more crop planting speed. But it's just planting crops. It's not their growth. Ooh, this is pretty good, though, the industrialized farming. Ooh. Profit uh, used for fulfilling orders and delivery. Maybe I could try this. Let's try this at the makeshift post, but let's just make sure that we can make the makeshift post before we begin. Um. Hmm. I'll admit, I haven't really done any trading. Uh, that, actually, that's a lie. I have done some trading. I might go into that. Uh, I think I'm just going to take the simpler quest for right now, the one that I know I can rely on. And this is also not that bad, just to get us started early. YOLO. Right, but otherwise, I would like to take some bonuses if I can. Uh, okay, and then getting the lizards resolve up to 10 and the, or the beavers up to 16. All right, think. Mm, these are basically lizards or beavers, although the beavers are usually in a more of a chipper mood. And what is this one? 
I might have to wait for the trader. I do like the beavers, and you're often better off just kind of specializing with one group. I'm going to go ahead and say, let's wait on this one and just see who gets closer to happiness. And then we just accept the quest once they're already happy. You know, like, here come the lizards. They're getting happier. Like, they just went up to eight. That's their resolve. And you can improve their resolve by giving them more stuff that they like. Like, their own homes, their own, like, types of... Uh, things that they esteem in their culture you know religion education these guys like religion lizards also like brawling they like meat they like jerky skewers but they also like pie pickled goods beavers and humans both like clothing everyone's very picky and we're we can't really make everyone happy but we could at least maybe make some of the people happy no honestly that is it's like government the game you know Anyway, I know, great joke, but uh, I didn't write anything and I'm sick. Uh, I am actually very sick. I got two back-to-back -back colds in two weeks. Woke up thinking that the symptoms, I was like, ah, oh, it's the same cold. Nope, it was a new cold. I got a second one. So that was pretty upsetting. Okay, now things are happening in the background as I'm speaking and with the storm. So, if you didn't already know, the name of this game is, after all, Against the Storm. Um, where am I going with this? Of course that... Uh, everything gets bad when there is a storm, that is to say, though. So, we're... Like, we really gotta keep an eye on Resolve, because it can get really bad throughout the game. Now, I don't really love our starting quests. Uh, the humans, well, the glade events we'll get to. That should be okay. I'm still thinking we'll just wait and see who gets closer to this resolve. Now, other things that we could do would be like housing for them, biscuits. But a lot of these things are very far out in the future. So we're, we're kind of better off relying on some nearby potential event. To maybe get a biscuit here or there, you know? Can I get a biscuit? Okay, other things that are happening, we're making the forest angrier because we're cutting it down. Uh, so that is also happening. And actually, this game is not looking too particularly good for me. I'm not going to lie from the outset. Like, I don't like the random events that I rolled. So in order to kind of combat that, let's just overcompensate by doing other things. Um, let's use a harvester's camp here. We can move around the buildings later on. This is something that didn't occur to me in my first playthrough, but... Yeah, you can move around your buildings. Or it took me a little while to figure it out anyway. What is it that I'm not getting for this one? Oh, I don't have any planks. Whoops. My bad. All right, so we've got to be processing the wood as we go through. Actually, I had not built that building so fast. So we have 100 wood. We have plenty of wood, fortunately. Um, and we're going to use that to make a... Oh, we could actually skip straight to the carpenter. I think I'm going to make a crude workstation, though, just because I think it's useful for a lot of different types of goods. And I'm going to put the crude workstation right next to my... Or I'll put it pretty close to the warehouse, just because they're going to keep needing to make trips to these warehouses. Now, every city builder game is secretly like an infrastructure game. I can't remember who it was that told me this, but they're absolutely right, this person. Okay, so we've just fi finally opened up our first glade. Oh my god. I could die. Um, no, I, I think I'll go on and continue to embrace the joy of dis having discovered a new glade. Now, let's stop with these trees because this is kind of a waste of time. There's really nothing in that glade that was a complete waste. Um, and I'm very angry. I'm upset. Um, we were smackledorfed. But it's okay. Uh, life goes on, and I'm just going to cut down more trees. Continue deforesting. Now I'll set off two beavers to work here and the other ones here. Now we're going to open up two and then another one glade. That makes a total of, yes, that's right, three glades. Wow. In the meantime, we have so much wood that we don't know what to do with. So let's start decorating because I hate it here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put down this garden over here. Just because it's beautiful according to the game. And then we'll put over, um, you know, I really am probably not being very space sufficient here, but whatever. I uh, ignore the consequences most of the time. 
Let's go ahead and put down a bench there, and then we might need, I think, one other item. And we're going to try to upgrade this to an encampment. Okay, amazing. Plus two to global resolve, although the storm is kind of blocking it out right now. Did you just see the resolve slightly go up? I almost felt happy there for a second. Oh my god. We had enough people living in our city that I, I didn't hate myself for maybe like two or three seconds there. I don't know why I got so morbid there. Um, let's go ahead and put down another house. We're clearing out space. We're deforesting to, so that people could live here, kind of like we are in the real world. All right, there we go. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and put down some more houses here. These might not be the perfect spots for houses just because they're right by our main warehouse. We can get other ones. Okay, it seems we've unlocked... Oh my god! What is it? <laughs> I feel like the volume is getting kind of loud now. I'm going to slightly turn it down yet even more. Okay, the loud and scary voices are beginning to pass. Alright, oh sacred obelisk! How can we placate the um, incense? We could use the incense in order to get, well, an obelisk. I don't really have any interest in an obelisk. Actually, these things are quite good. The chest of ancient tablets can be used for some of our objectives. The pack of meat is good for the lizards. And the oil vessels is good for burning as well as potentially other things. I'm going to assign one lizard person. Yes, that's right. One of my indispensable lizard people to completing this important task. Now you might be asking yourselves, why is he doing that? Well, hopefully this will complete the Glade event. And we had the resources required for this one also. We don't, just simply don't have incense right now. Oh, I also forgot that I just totally don't have any clay. Wow, what a dingus I am. I haven't discovered any stone. Oh my god, I, li I lied. I, I mean, I rather I forgot. Look, there is some clay over there, as it turns out. Wow. I don't know, why do I sound so, like, upset? Oh, wow, we can just pick up and move the houses. I wish I had known that in the last game before I destroyed everyone's house. Decor- Okay, so, basically, we're improving global resolve- Oh my god! We can finally accept a quest. Should we accept the lizard people? I think I'd like the two copper bars, and I also like variety among among us. Good, we've got a person, too. Um, uh, the beavers are at 15, so the lizards... Look, the lizards are coming up in the world. Um, will it behoove us to have more lizards now? Although, I think no. But I might just take them anyway. Unless if these beavers really come along. Here, I'm going to give them like three seconds. Okay, you know what? These lizards, they've just got a great attitude. I'm going to take more lizards. Don't question it, anyone. We're taking the lizards. Come on in, lizards. Now they've just got to keep their resolve right there. Just hold it for 28 more seconds. We've got to keep that resolve high. Do some jumping jacks or something, lizards. Oh my god, this is actually great. I really don't make enough use of traders in this game. I, to make a long story short, I know I should, but I just wanted to learn to be self-sufficient before I had to depend on trade, you know what I mean? Um, what is this? Eh, I'm not really as crazy about going after Glade events. Okay, let's just take 33% faster global production speed. That seems pretty crazy good. I will favor the lizards. I have shown favor to the lizards. I enjoy this kind of, like, imaginary lording over, like, lizard people. It's as if it were always a dream of mine. Okay, now we're going to send maybe one of the new lizards off to uh, gather plant fibers off in the wilderness. Look, there go a lizard and human in perfect harmony, working together among one another. Among us, one might say. We still haven't really got to work on this thing. Do we have the, um... Okay, here we go. We're finally making the... Oh, no, whoops. I forgot to put somebody to work at the crude workstation. Okay, let's also just take off maybe one of the beavers. We don't really need to be destroying the entire forest like this fast. Also, let's go maybe over here for a second. 
and maybe play some Among Cheer Us. Cheer 100, sadly, I got a dip. Farming hey. school is calling my name and I'm suffering. Much luck and even more fun, you gentlemen and scholar. Hey, Tempest of Avarice, thank you very much for the 300 bits. Also, good luck in pharmacy school. That's good work. Hope you're doing well. And hope you've been enjoying stuff. Um, favor them. Oh, wait a minute. Favoring them? Oh, I'm not actually... I didn't even know about... It. Favor the species to boost their resolve by five. Oh, my God. Other species will suffer minus five to resolve. Okay, I see. So you could do that for like a temporary boon. No, I, I trust these lizards to be happy for now. Although this is a very good mechanic. I actually didn't even know that this existed. There's a couple of UI elements in this game that did not jump out to me, but Zinthos, thank you very much for the very good tip. Ooh, I appreciate that. Hang on a second. Okay, do we have tools? I don't have any tools, unfortunately, right now. Now, I do kind of prefer to get the Queen's Grace here. The box of pottery might be useful in the short term. Actually, so would the Queen's Grace, but uh, I don't really have a very good answer here. Lizard influx. I wouldn't mind a bit of a beaver influx. 35 roots. Deliver 35 roots. Six pack of provisions. So either roots or meat. I'm kind of more like down with the beaver folks, although they will destroy the forest. They'll also kind of carve out a lot. Let's just see what we already have. You know, I think we're bringing the meats. That's us. Meat is my middle name. Do we have any access to meat though? No, not really. What about with our forager camps? We have access to vegetables. Oh, we do actually have access to roots. Okay, so then let's go ahead over here and have roots. I think that's gonna be a better use. Yeah, unfortunately I can't be as much fun as I wanted to. Oh, we will have access to a farm, that's good. Uh, the herb garden is also gonna be good. Uh, uh, I'm indecisive here. Okay, I'm thinking it's nice to have a farm, but I've also, wait a second, what kind of farm do we already have over there? There's a plantation, this can make plant fibers. Okay, so we do need herbs. We need a source of herbs and we don't really have one right now unless if we just like look around in the wild. So I'm thinking, it's probably better to do an herb garden right here, and then maybe we'll go for the farm. Why does it? Oh, it's yeah, and this blueprint's already a reward in one of my orders. So uh, if I complete that, I'll unlock that anyway. So screw it. Let's just do this. Um, okay. Uh, let's go ahead back to our orders, and then we will take the one that we need to deliver roots for. We also get beer, which is pretty, like, you know, everybody likes beer pretty much. Um, so that is good. Okay, the human resolve improvement might be beneficial to us right here. Although the dangerous glade also... Ooh, and we get tools from that. Though we get humans from this one, and that would help us increase our, like, human stuff. I'm thinking maybe just favoring the humans while we bring in more humans and make the humans happy might be a good way to do this one here. Yeah, let's go for... Honestly, let's go for more people because if we make our whole base better... Although, do I have the grain that I would need? Nah, I don't really have that. And I don't have any plan to get it right now. And I'm still far away from the farm. And I'm kind of depending on that objective. Okay, so that's going to create... like This is, I think, the, the tricky part of this game is solving these little bottlenecks. Um, so, you know, I'm going to go ahead and take the Dangerous Glade. We'll get to go ahead and see a Dangerous Glade event. I'm probably going to make a huge mistake here and regret it, so... Yeah, you know, with that as our starting objective, make a huge mistake and mess up, I think that's a pretty good place to begin. Alright, um... Where could we go if we want to experience danger? Well, we could go right over there. What's going to be a quick way to get to it? I guess after they're done carving, maybe one or two trees out here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got another glade event, but let's go ahead and move this cutting area down over to, like, here. There we go, and then we'll just tell them to cut out. Okay, we're going to experience our first danger, everyone. Get ready. Enjoyed the Stardew series. 
Oh no, I wish I hadn't accept accepted that root quest because now suddenly we have meat on the ground. Ha. Hey! Thank you very, very much. Appreciate that. Man, the Stardew series was like... Honestly, it was a great time doing that. Oh, here we go. I haven't been producing these goods. Whoops. Silly me. Uh, actually, I'm going to need a lizard available for the next task. Now, there is a decent way to manage your villagers I'm not really doing right here. Stardew... You know, the only thing I... The only thing that that I regretted about that series was that it took so long to do. But I really enjoyed doing that. I would love to do Stardew again. It's a great game. I loved, in particular, I like doing it on here. Although I also like the kind of like reflective moment at the end, guys. Hey, thanks. I appreciate that. Hmm. There's something, do you find that you get like also kind of introspective when you play Stardew Valley? I think I can build some roads here now. Now the thing is, it's not going to be so costly to us to build roads. Um, although, whoops. Like, I can start to see some paths already that they're going to be taking. And they don't fit perfectly with my city grid, but you know what? That's okay. Um, we'll live. Honestly, at the end of the day, we will continue to prosper and survive so that's okay uh, I'm going to have the humans gather the roots because humans excel at root gathering as you may know based on your experiences in modern day society I'm gonna have um, one of the beavers work over here though now see now there's just uh, like a dizzying array of resources that are uh, Oh, cool. I've completed one of the Glade events. I totally forgot about that. I'd say that we're chugging along pretty well here. We are, like, able to meet all of these objectives. Like, we're going to get delivered more people soon. So we're kind of keeping along at a decent pace. Uh, the Leather Worker... Didn't we have that Leather buff from before? Plus two to Leather Production. So we might want to somehow rely on this Leather thing. You know. Like, maybe use... Hang on a second, let's just go ahead and see. Like, coats, okay, we do need fabric for that. Though leather is required in water skins, as well as scrolls. This could be useful for, like, I believe, educating our people and making them happier in order to improve the colony. So we're trying to either, like, we could complete these objectives. Or, there's just so many options of what you can do in this game. It's, like, it's dizzying, the array. But I want to see what other buildings we have available. Okay, so the rain collector is one we're going to want at some point. We don't really have enough people right now for me to want to do it. Um, the provisioner can already produce some flour. Let's just go ahead and see what we could potentially unlock. This gets us water skins. This is going to get us scrolls. And this is going to get it. This would get us clothes or coats, which are really useful just for keeping everyone happy in the storm. I'm thinking the clothier might actually be a pretty good idea here. Oh yeah, because we already make... Oh, we already make leather in other places, right? Or is that just for the production with the leather? Uh, I don't know. I think that the clothier is a pretty good idea here, so I'm going to stick with that one. Hey, Jacrissy, thank you very much for the prime. Okay, so thinking about where we want our other resources and stuff like that, I also kind of want to cut down more areas near my, well, my house, as it were. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that. Let's get one of those lizards available for working. Thank you, lizard people. Uh, what else? We can also prioritize different types of jobs and tasks. I definitely think we need another person working here at the crude workstation. Now, the crude workstation is pretty good at just like a catch-all area for working. You can also see what types of workers are on each area right here. So, um, yeah, like I can see that this human might not really be good for this type of job. Let's go ahead and take a human, put them on the foragers camp. We want to try to be kind of efficient and then people... Some people just don't really get bonuses in any, or certain jobs just don't get bonuses from any, like, species. I've got two humans free. You kind of want to leave some people free just for building uh, abandoned cash. I mean, it's abandoned, so that's not really so useful. Yeah, the obelisk is still being cleared out by, yes, one lizard. That's right. 
I'm gonna leave some of the other ones just available around here. Uh, okay, it seems that they've harvested all of the plant fibers from over here. We really don't have anything else for this job, so let's just fire these lizards. Alright, now the storm is coming on again and the resolve is lowering once again. Um, there's always this kind of, like, give and take. I, I find that this is one of the most tense city builders I have played. I will say that. I will say that. Why am I saying it so, like, melodramatically? Oh my god, they've got the plantation ready. Wow, this is great. They can finally get plant fibers. So we can put our humans to work there. And sometimes they can double the yield, so that is useful. We will also have... Let's have more farm fields. Um, We might as build, well build over these ones, too. I don't think that's going to cause any maintenance or anything. Uh, Mushroom... Okay, so we need... Mushrooms and insects, these are also going to be useful, so let's get an herbalist's camp here. We really just want to make the best of every resource we've got. Um, other Friday thing, too, is... A, -A. Let's go. A bar soap. It is a Friday night, isn't it? On Earth. Well, I guess it's not always one... Or I suppose there is, like, an instant across the entire Earth where it's all one day, right? Either way, where we're at, it's Friday. Bar soap, thank you very much for the fr for the five months. I was gonna say for the Friday, but <laughs> you're not God. But it is Friday. Um, it does feel good to have it be a Friday. Hang on a second. Oh, wait a minute. The newcomers are waiting. New threat, Harmony Spirit. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so we've opened up a danger. I'm gonna address this in a second, uh, just before I accept people randomly into my life. Uh, let's go ahead and accept more humans and of course more lizards because, well, why not just always have them? Uh, blood price contract or grain bags? Shady but lucrative deal, gain 10 ember every... I don't really want to get at villagers dying and leaving, that's not very useful. <laughs> like we want things that snowball, not negative feedback loops, you know what I mean? Specialized grain farming techniques, grain production increases by plus one every day. Okay, so this snowballs with grain. This is actually a very good unlock to get right now, I think. Um, what else have we got? Okay, we can deliver the danger. We've also got the humans here. And we're delivering the roots soon. Now, the other contracts are going to unlock soon-ish. So we're kind of keeping pace with the queen's impatience. Uh, now, okay, now on to the danger. We've got a smelter. Ooh, smelter. That's kind of good. Ooh, this would be really good if we could get this. Um, we could also get a bunch of crystallized dew, which is a very good substitute, and biscuits, which is great. Um, okay, this is not good. Uh, the ancient language, uh, old altar found in the wilds. The ancient language carved in this dune proclaims, light a fire at the altar to gain the blessing of the spirit of harmony. Okay, so we're going to need to use one of our things in order to like appease this. Uh, otherwise, what's gonna happen? Harmony has been disturbed in 12 minutes. Minus five to global to resolve. Obviously, that's not good. And one impatience point, which is actually quite bad. Sometimes a villager will die. Sometimes, like, the land will get irradiated. Uh, ooh. Um, okay, do I have any substitutes for this? I think I'm going to use a substitute here, just because sensitivity seems like such a horrible thing to have to go through for this. Um, Harmony, we do get Harmony for this, although the Crystallized Dew is also extremely good. Um, I just don't want my villagers to have to go through this effect. Uh, it seems very bad. Although they do have a lot of it right now. Uh, I think we have enough fuel for right now. I'm not too worried about my oil. Maybe I'll come to regret this later on, but let's go ahead and assign two lizards to that. We want to get the start on that right away. Just that so we don't get these negative effects at all, hopefully. So. We could use alternatives here, though. Um, so these are other things that we could substitute in here. I really don't want any incense to go in there. Oh, also resin could be used. Yeah, I guess we could use the resin just to not use up everything else. Crystallized dew. Yes, crystallized dew. It's like kind of a substitute for copper in some of the recipes that I'm thinking of. It is a very useful material because it can be used to make tools, and tools can be used so often to, like, get these abandoned cash quests. 
Um, so that is extremely useful. Although I'm trying to figure out if we have enough things to make it now in the first place. Carpenter could be used to make tools. Now I am going to build a carpenter because a carpenter is quite useful and we do like very much need one much of the time. Um, hmm. What else is there to be done? Okay, um, hmm. Oh, we've opened up more glades. I think that's basically the meaning of my existence. Opening up more glades. Let's go ahead and maybe see what's behind door number two. And then after that, I'm going to send them back here. Because I just want to start clearing around more forest around my hearth. I've got to keep production kind of, like, efficient here. I don't want people running all around. Otherwise, it's going to waste time. I need to get these beavers to work. Come on, guys. Who do you, you think I am wasting all this daylight over here? Okay, we got a human. Oh, wait a minute. No, I ha will have no human work there. There we go. Good. I'm going to leave some lizards around. Leave these lizards to me. Oh, we've already got all of these tools. This is amazing. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and send out some people to... What is okay, we've got this objective being met. Now, they have. do they have the materials they need for that? Oh, we've got only two of the five amber that we need. Oh, I thought that we had more amber for some reason. Okay, I totally messed up. I was so used to having a greater cache of amber. I thought that was what we started with. It turns out I'm actually a dingus. Um, okay, we can deliver that. Am I going to get any amber for any of the things I'm going to do now? No, it does not appear as if I am. Uh, I don't think I'm getting any rewards. So let's just go ahead and take this one instead. We will cancel this. And instead, we're going to go ahead and use... Um, yeah, we're going to use five oil here and we're going to burn down this altar and it's going to make everyone really unhappy, but... Oh, well. Bottoms up, I guess. All right, what else should we do? Everyone's resolve is going to be dropping like in a bad way. In a pretty bad way. So let's go ahead and we'll carve up. I'm also just going to go ahead and build these roads thus. Because I don't really see us carving through these trees. I could always just get rid of this path. But it looks like we're going to be needing uh, be needing to make trips up and back. And so on and so forth for a lot of this. Um, oh, we do have more plant fibers up here, though. Okay, so even in the dangerous glade. See, that wasn't so dangerous. We're just burning everything. Wow, I've not actually seen that. These people have flamethrowers. Jeez, that's kind of cool. Look at that. Yeah, it, yeah it, okay, it quickens the mood lowering. Oh, like, if their mood were to lower, then it will lower more greatly. Is that it? Okay, perhaps I'm reading that wrong. I have been the dingus. Okay, we've also uh, accomplished beaver influx. Fantastic. Now, the hate... Okay, we're actually doing really well at this, which just goes to show how much I've improved at this game. Okay, this would be three new goods for us. This would be very good. Ooh, a scribe I've never actually had. We've already got a better place for tools. I'm thinking that the smokehouse is going to open us up to a lot of greater possibilities. This will also improve our lizard's resolve, which is also already so high. It's so high. Um. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Brawling and religion can be had in the clan hall if we build that. Now, the human house would be good, but the lizards have a need for brawling. So I'm thinking that we could make these lizards super happy if we got a clan hall. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's just put all of our money on lizards. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, distillery. Ooh, wine. We could use that with our berries for festivities and debauchery. Although the brickyard would be useful for crystallized dew, and I really do like crystallized dew. Ooh, the second one is really tough. Uh, the skewers would be even better for our lizards, if you can even imagine that. Uh, although we do already have barrels, so that is good. I, I almost want the brickyard right here, simply because of the crystallized dew. Uh, this was basically a game breaker in my last game when I couldn't get any copper, so I think I am going to take that. Um, it's kind of the way that I'm used to playing right now. There's probably better strategies. I found one thing that worked for me, so I'm kind of sticking with it, because that's how I know how to play the game. But there are probably better strategies. The thing that 
I will say I really like about this game is it seems there's a lot of different ways to play, and there are many different, like, races that you can start the game as, so that is quite cool. I'm going to put some beavers, like, kind of underemployed over here in a job that's not really suited to them. Oh, it seems that I've employed beavers in the wrong type of industry. Do beavers do better over here? No, they don't. Okay, never mind. Lizards, back to work. Back to work, you lizards. Now, let's see. Oh my god, we unlocked another glade. I could die. Um, We could get a lot of meat, or we could get, like, straight-up prestige points from this. I might even be able to do better with the goods here. Now, I used to like the thing that would sustain the good over the good itself, but... You know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and put this down here, though, because I just feel like I need to clear out some more of these trees down here. Let's also just carve out this area because I want to clear out the area below it. I need this area clear so that I can get a carpenter in there or something. Small foragers camp has no deposits nearby. Okay, good point. Um, let's just go ahead and keep moving these humans around. Yes, where did I... I have left the dew machine here. Yeah, verily. Okay, we have one red dot. Unacceptable. Now, one thing that I will say is very generous in this game is because the environment is moving around so much, you are able to move buildings at any time so that you can kind of reformat everything into a grid. So I'll take that. I'll allow it. Look at how much everyone's resolve is lowering. I do believe if they have on coats... Does that actually help them during the storm? Like, by a lot more? I'm not 100% sure about that. I should probably think about that before I say it. Anyway, let's take a human away from there. We need people on the farms. Okay, let's see our workers. We got some on the plantation. We got some in the herb garden. I need a free human. I need a free human. Do you guys think that the crude workstation is crude because they're telling a bunch of, like, dirty jokes in there or something? Ooh, jerky! Look at all the eggs that could be had on that. Egg production. Sacks of flour. Traders will arrive quicker. Uh, I think I like the meat diet better. We've already got the meat diet. We've already completed it anyway. Need for religion. I'm really not very good at that, so I'm going to probably say no. Ten harmony decorations. Very easy to accomplish this one. Oh, wait a minute. I had a totally wrong objective. Never mind. Need for clothing fulfilled. I believe I was already midway through filling this one out. So let's go ahead and take this. Plus two to coats production. That's going to make everyone happier. And these are great objectives now. Okay, so we need harmony and we need clothing. All right. So, we have a clothier already, fortunately, because I was so proactive and smart. And I'm going to put that over here, which is really not in a very good spot for it, but I, I'm going to need it somewhere, right? Um, we'll put a beaver at work here. Do I have a stonecutter's camp? Okay, I did. Yeah, we're going to need more villagers soon. You know you're doing well when you're just like, I just need more people. Ooh, this is a tricky one. Oh my gosh, wow, we could have done really well with education. Holy cow, that would be a great one, because the wood production one is good. Oh, wait a second. One of your cornerstone picks is ethereal. I have never actually seen this. Uh, okay, hang on a second. What? what? This has never happened to me. Cornerstone will disappear if you decide to unpause the game before choosing it. I did not know that. Um, okay, I'm going to use lose all of my, literally all of the fuel. That would be bad. I would lose a lot. Uh, I mean, we'd lose 384 wood, but we have so much wood anyway. We'd lose one oil. Do I want to lose? I feel like that the wood is going to be pretty good here. Because, I mean, we're not planning on educating people. I don't want to... I've already pretty much sealed my people away to, uh, like, a, a dumb life. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the woodcutter's prayer. Plus one to wood production. 
What wood I do? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now we have to make sure that we're doing a lot of wooding, though. Uh, Alright, I think we're good. I think we'll be fine. Alright, there we are. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just tell them to get more of these trees out of the way. And just, let's just clear out this whole area by the main hearth. I want this done. Okay, we're already at 10 wood, so it was worth it. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, let's get these harmony items, though. Let's get up some lizard posts. Nothing says home like a good lizard post. Fire shrine also. Did they need to be 10 unique objects? If they did, I'm screwed. If not, I'm... I should be fine. Let's just fill the rest of the land with lizard posts. Lizard posts everywhere. Disgusting, I know. And let's get fire shrines. These are also harmony objects. There we are. Um, can I get another lizard post there? Look, a whole row of lizard posts and fire shrines. I am the Lizard King. I think I had two in a row. That's really going to bother me. Okay, cool. New newcomers. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we've got the harmony thing going on. All right, what other kinds of people do we want around? Um, oh, this will pretty much accomplish our other... Man, like the game is just playing itself for me, practically here. Oh, no, we had to... Eh, actually, this will probably accomplish my objective anyway. Okay, yeah, I will be fine. We're actually doing great guns right here. I'm going to go ahead and say that I've learned to synergize all the picks in the game because in my first few playthroughs, like, it was a total mess. Uh, I had no idea what I was doing, and it sucked. I was bad at it. Um, I sucked. I was really, really bad at it. Uh... Because I was just kind of picking things totally at random, like, oh yeah, let's keep making, uh, food. Like, and I think all I did was make food in the first game. We never really produced anything. And, obviously, uh, I wasn't that good. Now, you don't need to take down the whole forest. But sometimes it just feels good to destroy the forest. I didn't... So I'm just gonna keep doing it. Uh, like, we could go for industrialism, and I think I'm just gonna do it. Uh, it will eventually make everyone ha unhappy in the forest. We'll want to, like, eat and destroy us, but I just think we're gonna accomplish enough of our other ob objectives fast enough. Either that or those will just be my famous last words. Um, yeah, I would be satisfied with that. A A la valid I mean it, I sucked at the game too I still suck at most things except for like deck building games I've I've learned that I've become obsessed with them recently oh my god the royal gardens so what do we get another prestige point honestly this is going really well I should probably play in a more difficult area where I die I promise if I treasure stag appear nearby. Now, I don't know what this means. Contains a threat, but also gives plenty of rewards in return. Do we have a chance? You know, I'm tempted to say that everything's going so well that let's just see if we can mess it all up. Like, I'm uh, so obviously going to win here. Let's just see if I can make my life more difficult for no reason. Let's overcomplicate it. Let's see what a treasure stag is. I would probably... I mean, it's probably too early to do this. Yeah, the beavers cut too deep into the forest. Uh, if they do get it in time, I've not done one of these events yet. Come on, let's go. Let's go, boys. Nope, we're not gonna get it. Okay, uh, don't, don't do that. Don't do that, never mind. It was interesting as a, as a choice. For practicing living on the edge. Okay, good, the people are wearing these parkas for a little bit longer. Um, 
Ooh, the two hearths requirement is pretty good. Deliver two ancient tablets. Don't I have some ancient tablets on us already? Yeah, we already have two ancient tablets. Okay, this is fantastic. I'm just going to take the ancient tablets one. Uh, we do get jerky, pies, and biscuits. Wow, this is proven like maybe even too easy. Okay, this would be a better reward, but I mean, we're just, we're doing, everything's going so hunky-dory right now that I think it's fine. Oh, yes, let's fulfill the need for brawling. Ooh, and we could open up the Dangerous Glades. I think we should go do more of the Dangerous Glade events somehow. Human houses, breweries, and lumber mill. The brewery would be nice. I don't think we have any uh, way of making al alcohol. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, Various goods needed in this. So let's go ahead and just put that kind of in the middle of everything by the warehouse. This is going to be useful. Um, I guess we don't need all of them for housing, although I've kind of opened up a new district over here. I gotta say, it's very gratifying, these types of games where you kind of go in and you carve out, like, the whole world underneath you, you know what I mean? Like, you, you eke out your own existence. It's very satisfying. Okay, there's another treasure s Nope, there isn't. That was the one I missed. No more stone deposits nearby. Let's see if we can find other ones. Now, there's other types of deposits. This one's like marrow. I think I'm just going to go for this clay over here, though. Very scary music sets in now that the storm is here. How do I like the game? Honestly, I think that this game... I'm kind of curious as to more of the, like, fun elements about it. Although I think it's an extremely unique take on the roguelike city builder genre, which basically doesn't exist. What do you guys think? Actually, what do you guys think of this game so far? I am content to listen. What kind of vibe is Chad? Usually Chad is very chill and I usually dig their vibe. Ooh, humans are good at brewing because they love to get turnt and have a good time. Now you can substitute in other goods, like if you don't have pottery, you can use barrels or water skins or stuff like that. I will allow, in this instance, barrels to be used as an optional alternative to the norm. Uh, this is sometimes useful. We need clay here for more of this stuff. Um, Good. Uh, we do need storm water. Now, you can install, like, pipes on buildings. I was trying to read about this, although I couldn't quite figure out how the piping had worked. Because there are pipes as units in the game. But I, I don't ever see it in any of the tabs of the building, so I'm just sort of, like, left well. Huh. I'm probably just missing that, but if anyone knows how that's done, I would appreciate that. Okay, training grunts. This specimen was specialized in training gear. Lizard resolve for every 70 training gear. These are not that great. Um, uh, newcomers, newcomers bringing more goods is not bad, but do we even have training gear? Don't really believe that we have any. Yeah, we don't really have any. Okay, then let's just take the other reward. Generous gifts so that when new settlers come, they bring more stuff. That's good. Okay, and the objective of coats has been done as well. And then, okay, the brawling need would be exciting. Although this would also be really good. Ooh, we would have a crate of copper ore, which is really useful. And then we get more newcomers. Yeah, let's just go into danger. Okay, let's head into danger. Although I do like the brawling, and I'll probably embark upon more of it soon. Yes, lizards. Lizards be favored. Lizards be trippin'. Lizards be brawlin'. I don't really know what I'm saying anymore. I, it's probably all of the cold medication I've been taking starting to just kick in. And I'm just saying... <laughs> Lizards be tripping, everyone, as the kids say. You know, I think I already started to sound like an old man when... I, or I think I did sound like an old man when I first started the channel. I started this channel when I was actually 21. I'm 28 now. 
Wow, it's been a minute since I've been YouTubing. Um, let's go ahead and see. Cookhouse. Ooh, the bakery would be exciting, although we could improve the lizard lives even more. The biscuits would make, uh, you know, almost everyone would be happier with the pie. We're just doing so well in this game, I can hardly even believe it. This would help the provisioning, but not really by that much. The skewers would be a new addition. Let, the, let us have the skewers. I doubt I'll even get a chance to get to some of these things, but if I do, it's going to get even better. My god, we had a great game this time. New threat, the Forgotten Temple of the Sun. Now, what is this going to do? Destroys all trade goods in the warehouse. Oh my god, if we don't stop the temple from being angry, we might die. Praise the sun. What, we just drink in the temple? Now, the wildfire essence would be interesting, but then we wouldn't be able to use our hearth for some stuff. So I will investigate with the lizards. Actually, a lizard and a beaver. Send the thyselves in there, lizard and beaver alike. <laughs> I I love speaking to inanimate animal people. Not inanimate, virtual, you know what I mean? Okay, so when they turn blue like this, they're starting to contribute to our reputation score. So now the high resolve is giving us plus point thirty two points per minute in our reputation. So once our reputation gets high enough, uh, the queen's impatience goes up at point two four per minute. So we're actually in pretty good shape right here, I gotta say. Um, generally speaking, it's like pretty neck and neck with these two, but there are games where it's like, oh, I just really can't do anything. Like, I am kind of screwed here, and it's not going too particularly well, and I'm going to lose, and I'm going to die, and that had been happening to me up until I did this stream, actually. So I am surprised that we are doing so well. These are pretty similar. Um, here we go. Okay, we're going to open up another glade, and that might actually be the very end. Because we've now completed this other event. We had like zero tension. Honestly, somewhat upsetting. Yeah, we're gonna deliver. We'll have beaten the game even before we do anything very... Let's see if we can really damage ourselves. Fishman logic. Oh my god, so some of these events are actually kind of interesting. Flooding destroys all the roads in the settlement. Or, and villagers move 30% slower. I don't really have to deal with this crap. So I do kind of want to show you... Generally speaking, what happens in this game if you don't win is that, like, everyone dies, everyone leaves. You you get very unpopular, obviously. I mean, as you should, you know, if everyone dies and leaves in your town. You probably did something wrong. You probably should be not that popular. But I'm just going to win. I'm going to do that. And unfortunately, now you can continue the settlement, but just the temptation to continue gaming, well, continues. Now, I do want to show you where the roguelike elements come up in this game, because I actually did way better than I expected I would in this. So now we're at level four. Um, this is sort of like our reputation as a, as a mayor, if you will, of the settlement. Ooh, I've already got, um, ooh, homesick, one again in five years or less. That's actually great. So now we've got two settlements. Our reputation is increasing. We are beginning to pull the hearths out from the citadel toward the rest of the storm, if you can believe it. Now, there's a huge game world, actually. Like, this game is, seems to have a lot of replayability, and in each, you know, like, settlement as you go, it gets better and better. Now, I'm playing the game on a very easy difficulty because it seems to me that when you don't know what you're doing in this game, you really mess up. Like, I really fell flat on my face when I first played the first couple of times, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. Uh, what is deeds? Okay, so now... Like, as you complete these little achievements, I guess that's where you get to uh, improve your level. So now we do claim these, and that causes us to gain yet more experience. Now, this is giving us levels. What is this? Oh, this is a new cornerstone, actually. Oh, that's actually very interesting. 
I didn't realize that it, it creates new variation in game effects. This does give it also more replayability, yes. Signboard. Now, would this unlock... I know that there are other species in the game because I've seen other people play with them. Um, I was watching Pravis play this because I think Pravis has a very good take on some things. And it's actually one of my... One of my uh, one of my YouTuber in real life friends. I like Pravis. Hi, Pravis, if you're... I don't think he's watching this right now. But if... <laughs> I'm, like, secretly, like, a bit of a fan of his. Oh, my gosh. Um, if only. Um, but, yeah, no, I'd, uh, a couple of my friends have enjoyed this. Anyway. Um, I think he was playing with, like, harpies or something like that. It looked very cool. Everlasting Flames. You're getting a permanent plus two to burning duration for all types of fuel in the heart. So now we're starting to unlock more and more upgrades for our future playthroughs. And we use this bread... This is the currency in the room. Now, I don't think that bread makes a very good currency because it, like, it's going to go bad. But, you know, to each his own. Uh, based at quicker trade arrival. Oh, yeah. You basically get, like, this guy who looks somewhat like Jabba the Hutt who comes to your house. <laughs> what Jabba the Hutt coming to your house? Man, what a crazy happenstance that would be if one day you just open up the door and it's like, oh, my gosh, it's Jabba the Hutt. What a funny happenstance. I'm such a fan. Um, you gain permanent plus 1% chance, percent boost to the chance of obtaining bonus reproduction yields. Embarkation bonus, newcomers. Uh, just from there. Hmm. I need to make a choice. Everlasting flames. Additional cornerstone choice. You have one additional option to choose from when picking. Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, that comes up every year. Whoops, I didn't realize that was a yearly thing. Every villager, in, I never really like, counted it. Walking speed bonus. Embarkation points to spend on resources and bonuses before starting a new settlement. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. Oh, so then this one gives us more points, but this one gives us a new choice. Okay, yeah. As newcomers have been pretty useful, that would be better than more resources to have more people, I could see. Um. Hmm. Me thinks... The villager's speed is honestly going to be the best thing right here. So let's go ahead and leave that as is. So now this is going to affect us in our next playthrough as we go through. I think I'm going to try to pick something that's like very different where I'll probably die. Because I want to show you what this game looks like when I fall flat on my face. Um, because that also happens. Let's go somewhere that's... I'm going to stay on settler difficulty, but I'm going to go to a place unfamiliar to me. So that I'm learning totally new stuff. Um... Oh, or I could do Royal Woodlands. No, let's do Marshlands, just because we want to see something different, right? You didn't come to see this this guy do the same thing twice. No, it's boring. We go to the Coral Forest, or the Marshlands. Can we see what the bonus is? Unfortunately, you can't, like... Can I, like, I want to see what that effect is. Summary. Hmm. Conditions. Okay, here we go. Gathering knowledge. Gathering speed is increased by 10% for every two words. Okay. Giant organisms. Okay. Uh, that sounds crazy. Giant organisms. What will they think of next? Cursed royal woodlands. Ooh, that sounds bad and exciting. Uh, biome is uh, forced to reshape itself. Ooh, glaive dangers are impossible to see. This sounds scary and exciting. Let's do it. Uh, I will probably lose, but, you know, YOLO, like, yeah, like, eagerly embrace danger, uh, as uh, Houdini once said, I think. Maybe it was, I mean, honestly, not a, he probably said that at some point. He was Houdini. Huh. I needed a moment of silence. All right. I wanted to see this biome because I haven't. Although it looks way different from the last one we did. Now we might... Right, we're probably going to die. I kind of wanted to show you me messing up a little bit more. I just thought it would be more interesting. Um, okay. I'm thinking... Oh, you gotta start with the carpenter, and then we'll go to the brickyard. I want to take both of these, but I think I like the carpenter just for the early planks. 
then hopefully we'll get the brickyard later. Um, um honestly, let's see what we've got here. We've got, we do have some plant fibers early on, so maybe I should go with the herb garden just for the herb access. And bakery, bakery will be useful once we have like wheat. I mean flour, we're gonna need the flour first. So let's get the mill before we get that. That way we get flour more easily. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause like we're gonna need that for that anyway. So let's go ahead and get the mill so we have the prerequisite. Guys, we gotta put one foot in front of the other. Otherwise we're gonna get carried away. And that is unacceptable and I don't like that. Ah, hey Zepdeck, hey thank you very very much for the very generous 10 gift subs. Hey, thank you, Zepdeck. Take these subs and like it. I do like that. Thank you. I love it when you sh shove... Uh, wait a minute, let me not finish that sentence. Uh, thank you is what I meant to say. <laughs> thank you, I do hope you've been enjoying the videos. That's very generous of you. Yeah, thank you, my friend. Honestly, that's very generous. If you are getting a gift sub from Zepdeck, please be sure to say thanks. Thank you, Zepdeck. I appreciate that. Um, ooh, look, an early opportunity. Um, okay, very exciting. Uh, this is gonna be a waste. But honestly, like, we didn't count on stone to begin with. So let's go ahead and put out some stone paths just to keep everyone, like, real fast at the beginning. You know, I think that'll be useful to our, to our cause. Hmm. Uh, I will just delete that. And I think I'm also going to do... No, that was awkwardly a stone... A non-stone path. Now this is great because we just get some use out of these stones from the very beginning. I might not actually have enough for these. Hopefully we will... Okay, we won't. Um, let me just... Eh, I mean, we'll get it in time, so it's fine. Alright, we have only beezer... Beezers. Sorry, beavers is what I meant to say, and lizards available. Beezers. <laughs> How come... Oh, this because we have a beaver lizard... I was gonna say a beaver lizard king. Wait a minute. Guys, what if the different species were to mate? Like, do you think that we could get cross-hybrid beaver lizard people? I smell a sequel. I smell a sequel. Uh, wait, how come it is that I don't have access to all of my beavers? And don't think I'm about to make a bunch of, like, uh, like jokes now about about beavers. Although, honestly, not a bad opportunity. Not a bad opportunity. Let's put the carpenter over here, though. Carpenter is going to be useful. We need that. The warehouse, yeah. We'll try to get all of our main production buildings somewhat near the warehouse. Now this is great. We've got this stone path early on and this is gonna keep our villagers like lubricated and moving through the base. Moving to the rhythm of the base. Uh, the herb garden is gonna be useful. Uh, delivering the roots and the herbs too. Although, plus one to root production. This one to, Plank production. We, I really don't have any issues with creating planks, though. I, I always find that I tend to have, like, a surplus, so let's go ahead and take this one. Hmm. Ah, uh, the beaver resolve. Now that we know how to favor the beavers and that we have only uh, one other species, this time perhaps our lizards will play second fiddle to our beavers, and that will be that, said the beaver to the lizard. Uh, <laughs> sorry, why does this sound like something out of a like a, a child's reader. Plus one to Plank's production. Ah, how now, brown cow? You have returned with your building materials. Now these do seem useful, although the parts, you, d you don't want to run out of parts because then you can't build more buildings. We have 15 right now, so that's pretty good. Uh, I mean, the more production and the tools just seems more useful here. I know that the newcomers is useful, but just these two things seem super useful to us right now. We could make those in the rain mill. Um, 
I do have access to a rain mill right here. Although now it's occurring to me. Yeah, I just need planks for that. Okay. Alright. Not a bad choice. Not a bad choice indeed. Let's put him kind of close to the base. So I will keep the houses around the hearth. And then go from there. Um, okay, and what else are we getting? Biscuit diet. Or local taxes. <laughs> Why do these sound so, like, doofy? <laughs> Suggesting mammal and reptile mating. How could they give birth? Um, magically. Magically. Yeah, actually, that last level was a little bit too fast. Also, Jurassic Milk. Thank you very much for the seven months. Ah. Because the queen, no one can... Caw! No one can weather the... See, it's a bird. Uh, weather the storm alone. The queen offers you a cornerstone that will lay the foundation of your town's prosperity. Choose wisely, as you won't be able to change it. Yeah, I mean, it is... You're kind of stuck with what you pick here. And there are certain builds where it's just like, I pretty much can't win now. Uh, farmers have a 75% chance of producing double yields when under the effect of biscuits. Now, this is like kind of... This could be really good, but it also kind of depends on us already having biscuits, which are biscuits in the cards. We need, we must ask. One must ask oneself, are biscuits in my future? Gain 20 amber for every 100 ale produced. I don't really like either of these that much. Um, We aren't like off to an ale or a biscuit start. We got kind of screwed here. I'm just going to take Biscuit Diet because I think it's great. And I've got beavers. Although I might not end up doing farming. because We just don't even have humans. We'll probably get humans later on. I mean, beavers love biscuits. So, eh, not really either choice. Very good. Oh, well. Let's make an herb garden. As soon as we find a field. Um, not really a very cash money start. Um, now, do these beavers need to be, like, in in a house? Oh, no, we just have so many lizards. We have only one beaver. We start off with eight lizards, though. All right, lizards, I'm putting you to work at something that you're not really as good at. I mean, you will work, I think, as fast, but they just won't double their yield. So, okay, well, whatever. Not really that bad. We're already off to a, as I said, a very predictably bad start. Now, you do gain experience, even if you do bad. The color palette here is very cool, isn't it? Hang on a second. I've got, like, color correction on my PC monitor. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, do you guys ever use that F.Lux for, like, nighttime? That program? I, the whole forest looked kind of orange to me, but now it looks blue. Ah, yes. If they got permission from a platypus, then perhaps they could uh, mate or something like that. Don't plat platypuses? Platypi? Okay, I'm guessing this was a dangerous glade. Yep. Uh, if the ghost request is not made in time, it will simply vanish. Okay, this isn't such a bad event. I promised my qu my queen <laughs> that I would cleanse this forest of all the horrors that lived here. Ghost of a hooded knight. One night, my mount got frightened by the storm. We fell into the fishman's nets. My mission must be completed. Uh, I don't think we have any incense. Oh, very cool. Um, uh, okay, so he's got 35 minutes. So he's going to be here for quite a while. Excuse me, just one second. Mating, I mean coitus. Hang on a second. <sighs> Sorry about that. As I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, I, I've been getting over like a double cold. One of the most unusual colds I've ever had. Ooh, copper veins. I didn't actually spot any of these in the first uh, area, but now we're getting them. Wow, that's fantastic. Uh, this is great. Oh, I didn't realize that we got like more different... It's almost as if it has so much replayability. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like so surprised by this. Uh, that is quite cool. Alright, I guess we have to build this one directly above it. 
Um, can we build it there? I honestly don't know if I'm going to destroy it, so let me just... Uh, give me a second. All right, I don't really need copper like this instant. It is. It seems to be a very good early find. I mean, there's not really going to be any way to look for a dangerous glade. We just kind of have to keep opening up glades anyway, so whatever, so be it. I'm going to have to live with that. Um, early events. We don't really have that much. Let's go ahead and favor the beavers, though, just because I want to get them in, a, in good spirits. Okay, lizards, I don't like you. Beavers. Long live beavers. All right, this is going to take place for a couple of minutes. Boo! Lizards stink. They're bad. I don't like them. Uh, all right, good. Uh, down, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Lizards are great. Long live lizards. Beavers. Boo! No one likes beavers. Here we go. Okay, beavers back to work. Good, now beavers actually have the types of jobs that they want. They like to work in Silicon Valley for a tech startup. Um, herb garden and herbs. All right, so now we need to go ahead and create an herb garden. We don't need to, but... Actually, can we get any farm field? Uh, all right. I don't really feel good about this because I don't have any anything I can access here. Um, uh, we could go directly to co uh, copper here. The clothier would be good, although I'm feeling like that the copper is going to be more useful for us. The lizards refuse to wear clothes because they're nudists, I suppose. Hang on a second. The music is getting a little too scary for me. I need to turn it down slightly. Oh, man. All right. Sorry about that. You guys ever get too scared of a horror movie, so you go into the kitchen and you turn on the light? Maybe you get yourself, like, a fruit roll-up or something out of the cabinet. And then, you know, you go back to watching the movie and you remember it's just a movie. It's important to keep these things in mind as we venture through the journeys of life. And the way things... Ooh, a shady lizard man. The holy flame bless you. You've just been living in a glade in the forest as a lizard man. Viceroy. May I offer you some... Oh, yes, they call you Viceroy. I am now recalling this. All right. It behooves us thus to exchange goods for something that would be more opportune for us so oh we have harpies this i don't really know what harpies do um i'm just gonna accept the one with the clothing that'll be good for our beavers i don't really know about harpies harpy housing jerky biscuits buy they've already taken all of the clothing where are they honey okay there is a harpy wow I've not even seen them yet. Oh, they're like bird people. And treatment, whatever that means. Um, hmm. All right, and we've got another trader event happening simultaneously. So we've got to go ahead and get some stone cutting going on because there really just doesn't seem to be enough going on here. Um, survivor bonding. Okay, one to global resolve is not that bad. Yeah, that is just like a general buff. I'll take it. Uh, what else can we do? Packs of building materials. Now, we're really not getting enough of these. Oh, whoops-a-daisy. You know what I forgot to do again this time? Shame on me. Buffoon I have been. I really have been a buffoon. Like, I haven't been making planks. I need to make these crude workstations, although I didn't really have enough villagers to meaningfully progress in any way. So... It is what it is. Or as my grandfather uh, once said. Did I just say grandfather? Grandfather. It is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, even if he didn't, uh, he probably should have. Um, 
Uh, don't question it. Anyway, let's keep going over here. I think I'm just going to keep building paths somewhat at random throughout the world because life is too short. Um, stone cut. Now, do we get any harpy bonus? I really know about the harpy bonuses. Let's just keep the lizard people doing our stuff. I, I kind of needed, like... I'm just trying to see what we have a lot of. Well, we do have a lot of amber. Okay. I think I will take just all of the eggs. The eggs are good. Insects, you know, we really haven't had many of those either. Um, I mean, I could just take all this guy's goods off of his hand. Off of his hand. What am I saying? I'll take the clay, too. We just don't have enough of anything. Like, we need more resources. I could get the machine parts. I know these are probably more valuable. I really feel like mushrooms are going to be that valuable here. The wildfire essence is also... Though these things get very pricey very fast. I could get, like, two or maybe three machine parts. Okay, and then we will just uh, automatically... Where is the auto offer button? Auto. There we go. Okay, trade. All right, decent. So he disappeared into thin air, as lizard people are wont to do. Well, we still want to see if we can get that knight happy, because he was pretty depressed. I'm pretty sure the, that lady never called him back. He's upset. He needs to move on. But he's just sitting there in the middle of a forest and hoping that someone will... Uh, that his life will get better. So let's go ahead and see if we can make another uh, beaver camp over here. Here we go. Okay, good. We will have more of you. And we do need more stone at some point throughout our lives. We probably won't be getting it here from here, though. Well, this is actually going to give us copper ore. This is copper. Oh, no, no, clay deposit. I thought we were getting stone from that last time. Never mind. I somewhat stand corrected. Oh, this is what wheat fields look like. Oh, no, but that's still just gathering. That's not actual farming. Never mind. Okay, we've got new picks available. Okay, the beaver resolve could be had. Ooh, this would have been really good. Am I even going to be able to get my beavers up to that level of resolve, though? I mean, we could get them up to, like, 19, but I think 20 is kind of pushing it right now. Like, I picked a map that was probably too difficult for... Maybe even too difficult for me. Thorvin, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Did I misread mine versus the merchant's window? Really? Wait, did I totally just do that? Hmm. I don't seem to have any... Hmm. Wait, am I on the right and is he on the left? Oh, did I totally mess up that trade? Wait, is that what happened? Did I buy amber? If I did buy amber, then what am I doing with my life? I think I left it to auto. Maybe I did. I don't know. If I did, then I just totally messed up the trade window. Stonks. <laughs> I did. Wait a minute. I'm on the right, and he's... Why am I on the right? That doesn't happen in any game. <laughs> oh, my God. I totally didn't see that at all. Wow, I just sold all of my crap. Yeah, I was thinking, like, oh, yeah, we'll get more of this stuff. Wait, is it really on the... <laughs> totally did that in the last game. I didn't even notice that, too. Uh, well, either way, I managed to clear the last one without, like, any difficulty. Here I am just spouting misinformation. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. It'll work out. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with me? What game does... Uh, uh, yeah, and then blame it on the... Ah, they gotta change the game. They gotta change the game. But I swear to God... Uh, <laughs> Why is it on the left side? Why is it on the right side? <laughs> uh, no one is allowed to design a game and things are le left to right. And Never mind. I don't know what I'm you know what I mean. I, I r don't read words in games. <laughs> okay, there's no clay deposits in your pie left anymore. That's alright. We'll just find some somewhere else. I told you I would face plant miraculously in this playthrough. 
All right, let's go ahead and assign some people to production over here, though. Uh, let's just see if we're going to get any type of bonus from the harpies. No, I don't think so. And these harpies are in a bad mood. Get them out of here. Kind of bothering me that I didn't finish off that stone. Hmm. All right. Okay. Assign more beavers now that the storm is upon us. Well, I mean, those lizards aren't beavers, but you get the main idea. I don't think we're going to be able to save this man's upsetment. Uh, okay, this is a bad event. Fear of the wild. People are afraid of whatever is destroyed, has destroyed the caravan. Minus three to global resolve. Okay, that's not so bad. Well, now that I have all of the... Do I have any provisions on me? No, I don't even have any provisions on me. All right, we're just going to have to have everyone be afraid. We'll get some tools, though, some better flower production, and some barrels. But I, I can already tell that this playthrough is just falling apart horribly. So, let's enjoy the rest. Probably everyone's going to die and break down, and then we'll all be upset at the end. Although, I kind of want to treat you to what happened to me as I was learning the game, because... I mean, I guess that is to say this game does take a little while to pick up. I'm in a bit of a love-hate relationship. I think there's a lot of really amazing, like, original mechanics in this game. I, I like, graphically, I'm not crazy about it. Like, I think it's beautiful, but it, I don't know. Actually, you know what it was originally reminding me of was League of Legends. Oddly enough, which I kind of like the League of Legends graphics. Although, and all of these sad, upset your ghost people. Here is a stream notification to ease your worries. Uh, thank you, Thunder. Honestly, I had, I thought I had lost you. I appreciate that, Thunder. Thank you for the 28 months. Jeez, Louise, that's a, uh, that's 28 seconds, man. That's, that's a long time. Thank you very much. My upsetment, or what is it? My, my 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 upsetment is great and my my day is ruined. My my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Yeah. As Abraham Lincoln once said. Now let's go ahead and give everyone a house because honestly right now not everyone has a house. This I just didn't even know how to work with harpies. I still don't really know what they're good at. Uh, they excel at alchemy and love to work with cloth. Okay, so there are some species that we just didn't have anything for before. That makes sense a little bit. Uh, artifact infused with the power of the holy flame. Hostility from woodcutters is decreased by four. Ooh, that could be good. Uh, definitely flame amulets here. So I'm thinking, like, we... We pretty good now. Uh, no, uh, actually, we not good at all. I don't really feel like that this playthrough is getting off the ground at all right here. Okay, beaver. Uh, no, just let's just go for the straight glades. Wait a minute, no. Ten, sell goods worth of this. Yeah, well, I'm not getting any traders anytime soon. I mean, I could build a trade depot. Maybe I should now. Although that re kind of requires... I like... Be I kind of like being self-sufficient in these games. You guys know that about me. No, I guess it is really cheap. It's only 10 wood. It's more just a matter of the space that usually keeps me from wanting to build a trade depot. Now, what about that beaver resolve? 20 for 60 seconds. Okay, that's a, that's a while. But let's take it just because the rewards could be great. Okay, 16 villagers housed. I could definitely get that one. Although, I'm really struggling with these first ones. The rain mill. Did I ever even build a rain mill? We were going to, and then we never really got around to it. We do have the materials. We just aren't really producing stuff very fast. Hello. Oh my god! You're right! Yeah, I totally messed up! How come I'm on the right side and the trader's on the left? Totally didn't even see that. 
I've messed that up literally every time I've played. I'm like, oh, where are my goods? I feel like that should be a little bit more highlighted, but okay, I'm willing to accept it for right now. Anyway, let's go favor the beavers now. And then let's sell some trade goods. Okay, so I do need to sell here. What was the uh, what was the objective? Sell goods worth at least eight amber to a trader or trader. Okay, so let's actually just go ahead and I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. Uh, uh, what do I want to give up now? Okay, let's buy stuff and then sell it back to him. Uh, um, or what don't I need? Okay, copper. We kind of know copper is useful. I like a lot of roots. 17. We'll sell like four worth of roots. Can be a lot. Oh, I don't really like this. All right, clay and some plant fiber. Just like half of everything that we have. I know I'm selling him things, but I'm just trying to fulfill the objective right now. All right, just give me your amber. All right, I need seven, which set, ah, damn it, seven amber is worth that. I need even more crap for him. Auto, okay, there we go. Trade, okay, cool. I've fulfilled half of my objective. Now we need to keep the beavers happy. Okay, now sell, I would like to buy everything back, please. Uh, we could get things that'll keep the beavers happy though. That might be good. Let's, so let's get some, oh no, we need leisure. We can't just have that. Pickled goods, we could do that. Uh, biscuits. Yeah, they do need houses too, I suppose. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and give everybody a house. People would probably like a house. Um, hmm. I think I'm just going to start building across like here. Yeah, like this way. No, not foragers camp. Uh, what do I need for this? I need an herbalist's camp. Here we go. Noom. Uh, buy oh no, buying stuff counted for the quest too? Then why did it say sip? Right, that's valid. I suppose that's valid. Alright, give me your give me your ears. Ale, grain. I think I just like a little bit of everything. Honestly, the skewers are gonna keep my lizard people happy. The lizard people really aren't very happy. Porridge. Is there anything that's gonna like really help us with our base needs? It's gonna be good. Okay, herbs. Yeah, herbs are always useful. Vegetables. Grain. We don't really have access to any grain, so I think this is just a good extra thing to have. Porridge. Okay, I've already like basically spent everything. Take everything and well, actually maybe I don't need all of that. Let's see, is there anything else like pottery could be useful, but I feel like I've already got some like industrial stuff going on. Let's just trade. We could fight him. I haven't done that yet. I don't really want to you know, have conflict with Jabba the Hutt. Not for right now. Maybe we could just attack him. I would prefer that my beavers be completely happy, though, before we attack him. It's a little bit like I'm getting a bit of a Timberborn vibe, too. I did like that game. It's like a, a fun concept, you know, like kind of lighthearted and like really original, too. Amazing idea. Okay, we need 10 more seconds. Of oh, yeah, you're right. The selling did work as well. That is upsetting. Oh, cool. We finally found something that the harpies are great at. Okay, so they're good at, like, bird-like tasks, like foraging thing. Hence their bird garb. Uh, let's see. Herb gardens. Now, can someone please find me a... Is this... Okay, this is the herb garden right here, but we need the planks for it, and the planks aren't coming from the... I don't really have them. Can we raise the priority of the planks? And why are we not, like, making those either? We have 74 wood. Are people just not really working very fast? Where are they all going right away? 
Okay, they're going to the other buildings. We are building a carpenter that's going to get our lumber pr or our plank production up even more. Okay, I suppose that does make sense. Very well. Fine. I'll allow it. 35 meat. What is this? Trade traders will arrive 15% quicker. No, bring me the lizards. Bring them to me. Bigger barrels. Uh, I kind of like box of tools. That's always good. I'll take that. Yeah, the tool access is pretty much fantastic. Have at least 10 aesthetics. Uh, aesthetic decorations are a little bit I think easier here. Let's go with this. Yeah. Okay, we should also probably upgrade the hearth if we can, which I am totally forgetting now. Um, hearth upgrading is like something that I seem to forget a lot, but it, it is quite useful. Um, actually, scratch that. We'll put that there. Let's go for a park there. Now we have enough people living here. There's so many things that it's very easy to forget about that you could do in this game. Now I'm going to stop favoring the beavers because that's just making everyone else's life worse. You could do that, I suppose, though, as a tactic in order to sway the queen. But I will not reduce myself to these tactics of manipulation. Yea, verily, I will not. Uh, okay, now we need the regular decorations. This is fantastic. We can already get another level of this thing. 10% to global production speed. That's fantastic. I, I feel like just <clears throat> by going over every single synergy in this game, you start to really develop like a framework of what's going on like deeply within. And that is quite gratifying. Now, these pretty much all cost some lumber. Uh, here we go. I guess I'm just putting these things back here. I can always move them later on. I'll just keep putting in more barrels. I feel like the, the barrels just look like good scatter terrain. Yeah. That can be enough. One, two, three, six. Yeah, we aren't going to have enough right away. I mean, I really need those planks for other things, though. Okay, beavers are producing. Uh, let's get some of these beavers out of here. Or no, that's a lizard working on wood cutting. Uh, really, beavers would have been so much... Beavers are just so much more useful in general in the beginning. I need more beavers here. Not these lizards. Like you'd think I'd want. Gosh. Um, hmm. What else could we have? Welsh Heathen 1. Thank you very much for the three months. I would say that that's actually a valid criticism. Like, what is the point of the game other than just make a cool city where everything is specialized? It does kind of feel in this game, I would say, as one, like, minor critique. Although I think that probably the variation keeps rising as we go further into the game. I think it seems to me, like... I think I've been playing for about six hours before I got into it, and I really do feel like city builders benefit from the, like, it's fun immediately when you start it kind of effect. And I think discovering a lot of the variation does take time. Um, although, I kept seeing this game, and I was thinking, like, what is it that people are really interested in it? And I had overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, which is not easy to get the overwhelmingly positive review on Steam. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Like, it's really hard to get that. Um... So I was just like, what am I missing here? And I did come back and I was like, oh, okay, there's actually some game here. Oh, I really like this other reward, so I might actually save that. Rather than just, like, the prestige. Oh, this is a dangerous area. Very exciting. I could use tools for this. Okay, and fishmen traps. Do we have any jerky available? No, we don't. Okay, I guess we have to chase these people away. Fishmen cave. Ooh, fishmen are in this cave. Look, everyone, the, the mouth of a fishman. What if it's not? A terrible fishy smell comes from within. Uh, fishmen witches have prepared a special surprise for anyone trying to break in the cave. Spawns three fishmen. Now, you can have, like, spirits break out and try to kill people. That is a thing. Okay, let's have a harpy and a lizard chase them away.
Okay, I will have the fishmen totem spawn. Fishmen totem? That's probably not a good thing. I'm just assuming that if a fishman to like the the fishmen aren't interested in feeding themselves to us. Okay, now we're low on fuel though, too. Hold up a second. Okay, we can finally deliver on that first objective. We're gonna get this one soon too, it looks like. Got a couple more of these other events to go here. Uh, lost supplies. I didn't really like calming the forest. The usual amount of supplies can be found in some glades. Gain 40 meat and 40 grain for each. Oh, that's not that bad. Okay. Yeah, although I would say, like, as one critique, one thing that I find is I'm very, like, analytical in this game. And it's sort of like... I do feel like that there could be a bit more of a sense of a reward at the end. Like in Timberborn, for example... Like, when you survive the flood, it's like, ooh, the land is green. It's very exciting. Although in this game, it's sort of like the game just kind of ends there, and there's not, like... I hate to say that it could be solved with, like, using some animations. It's not, I think that the achievements of making the next run, like, easier is actually a pretty good incentive to get to the end of it. Although I suppose that it's a little bit... It doesn't feel like there's much, as much built into the game that allows you to, like, savor that victory, that is to say. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like it would feel great to savor my recent victory. I know what that is. Like, some games are extremely satisfying to beat immediately. And I don't get it as much right away with this. Um, although I'm starting to pick up on it. I'd say that that's a fair critique, though. I, I would agree on that. Also, Welsh Heathen. Thank you very much for the three months. I will get to this event in a second. Okay, so this is a leaking cauldron. This is one of the events in the new glade that we found. Uh, I think we do get a reward for this. I'm just going to pause so it doesn't keep ticking down. Uh, I think just judging by this... Wait, unless if... Do I have... Okay, I don't have the other thing anyway, so it's okay. Sometimes you get two options and you just don't even have really much of a choice here. Um, I'm going to just assign two beavers for the whole time. Um, okay, this would not be good. We would lose all of our crops. Okay, minus eight to global resolve. This thing is going to spill, like, poison into all of our food supply if we don't take care of it right now. So, like, we kind of have to do that. Um, what else do we have? Ooh, pipes are not bad. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take the pipes. I don't really feel like I need more lizard people right now, but, you know, bring them in. Sell goods. Okay. Selling goods. Delivering meat. Uh, okay, we should probably make a trapper. Do we have anything to trap? I don't actually see any meat. Wow. That is, like, somewhat upsetting. Although we've just kind of been going through... I thought we would have found something that would have killed us by now. Alright, another thing that's interesting is on the edges of the map, you have, like, just kind of water. I don't know. I think that's kind of a, ni a neat effect. I like it. Okay, we've got tons of blueprints to choose from now. Um, I'm just going to go with plantation because we already kind of have the other ones. Um, again, I'm going to go with brickyard just because I kind of like it. Although we do have the copper on this one, so maybe that's not as important. Okay, harpies would be good to get a house, but the lizard people might also be ha made happier. With this. The lizard people would be happy from both, but you know, we really didn't get a chance to do the clan hall the last time, so I want to see how that works, even if it's at the expense of my victory. Um, we could produce barrels. We had, we happened to have enough barrels lying around. Now the cookhouse might make the, uh, the lizards happier. Yeah, that would increase their global resolve. Let's invest in the happiness of our lizards for a moment. Although we don't have... A, why didn't I think of this? We didn't even have any meat going on either. I shouldn't have done that. Clan... All right, I guess I'm going to go with Clan Hall. For the lizard clan. <laughs> it's just such a fun word to say. Lizard. You are a lizard. You, sir, are nothing but a lizard. A smithy. Jeez. 
Produces tools and coats. Uh, the coat production would be good. Uh, don't we already have a clothier? There's so many buildings that produce, like, one thing, though. It almost feels like you're kind of doing large encampment. Uh, sorry. I think I've already... Oh, wait a minute. Are they idle there? Where are they idle? Oh, because they don't have... No, they have enough vegetables. Oh, because I didn't tell them to investigate. Did I? Okay, I think they're do Yeah, they seem to be doing their job there. Okay, trader has arrived again. Okay, so now these are the trader goods. I can't think of really what we need right here. Tools are always kind of good. S like, do all of our amber for their tools. Yeah, I take eight tools for that. It's pretty good. Like we're also low on fuel, so let's just bring this down to, like, maybe five. And then we'll take some coal. 20 coal. But coal is a pretty good fuel source, I think. Uh, do I have anything else extra? Pack of luxury goods. Uh, okay, so then let's also just sell all of our luxury goods. I don't see why we would need that. And then we will trade them for... Yeah, let's just get more coal, I guess. Yeah, I don't really want the fire to go out. That would be bad. Uh, actually, let's bring that down to like 19, and then we'll just auto the rest of the tools. Okay, pretty good. Decent deal. Did I get my... Cool, I got my reward for that. I somehow got my other reward for that, and... Uh, I'm getting really good at this game without really even intending it. Deliver 30 training gear. Um, okay. Yeah, alright. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna get either of these goals. You don't have to get either goal, though. Too, so um, we're definitely gonna pick the 30 paths we already have that Jesus how did I get this good at this game guys I it really wasn't supposed to go like this it, everything was supposed to fall apart I guess that's what happens when you just know that you're not really very good at well anything like you just m admit that you're a lunatic okay the fish the fish totems are appearing and honestly, nothing is okay. Oh, but we have, a, where do we get 11, <laughs> 11 lizard people have just simply come out of nowhere. A forest hostility, okay, so the forest hostility will increase. Although uh, uh, the enemy in this game is rather like vague. We have 55 tools, when did this? Are you kidding me, is this a joke? All right, I mean, I guess I'm just gonna go in here. All right, now I can basically just use the resource caches to end the game. There we go, okay, I'm gonna investigate and I think with that I'm pretty much gonna like get the dub. Provisioner, does it even, does it even make a difference? We could make the training gear with this. Let's do that just in case if everything else fails. If everything else fails, there's so much that we're missing. Okay, yeah, give me the Cooperage just because this game is becoming a joke at this point. Dare I say. Fishmen totem. Har okay, one of the harpies left. Oh, yeah, global resolve is really not too... Okay, that was during the storm. Never mind. Somebody left during the storm. Ah, uh, you had a bad attitude anyway. We didn't like you. Um... All right, let's go in with the mushrooms. Choose a cornerstone. Lost in the wilds, gain one villager every time you discover an... Ooh, that is pretty good. I'll take that. People lost in the wilds. Getting better. Lizard people rising up. Yeah, I mean, like, wasn't there a game about animals creating their own governments? Or was that, was that just Animal Farm, the book, like by... Who is that, George Orwell? Was that Orwell? Oh, I kind of want to see the next set of decorations, though, here. How have I actually gotten so much better at this game? Am I the only one who finds it, like, slightly annoying how I improved this much? I thought I would struggle more. I, I had actually grown to grown accustomed to enjoying my struggles. Like, well, everyone, it, it didn't work out. I hope that they forgive me for me. <laughs> 
<coughs> for making this video. <laughs> Are we... <clears throat> well, we're not really improving per minute now. I mean, the Queen's result is impatience is getting worse. I mean, I will tell you that when you lose, the only thing that's really remarkable that happens is, like, you lost. <laughs> it just tells you that, and, like, they give you some pity points. Um, but that's about it. There are some events that, like, where a ghost will come in and, like, sweep up one of your villagers and kill them, and that is kind of, like interesting in terms of animations. I do sometimes wish that, like, they could fight or... I don't know, I've... I think that there are bigger events. I've seen, like, giant mole people come out. Although I don't really know what I'm talking about. Maybe there is. So far, at least in the early game, I've not... I don't know about any combat. I haven't really ex looked at more extended coverage of the game. Okay, here we go, though. The hearth is growing. The hearth must grow. This is quite a cool mechanic, though. I like it how all the villagers kind of gather around the hearth. Which is nice. I just realized that this game kind of reminds me of Goblin Commander, which is another one of my favorite games. What a game that is. Um, let's see. Okay, really like just 10 aesthetics. All I need are like 10 logs to finish this uh, matchup. Let's just put everyone into log production. Oh my god. Um, hmm. Hang on a second. Weaver, carpenter. I do want you to be at least somewhat, like, surprised at how good I am at the game. Like, wow, I really didn't give him enough credit there. You know, that would be, like, a, a win for me. But we have 39 tools. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's keep on clearing out more glades. Over here. Um, go up with that. Maybe we'll find something dangerous that will accidentally kill us at the last minute. I, I wanted more, like, conflict for you guys to make it special for you. Unfortunately, we won. <laughs> I don't really know. I mean, if that wasn't my out outcome. Okay, low on food. Okay, this will be interesting. Can we get the trader? We could call the trader immediately. I think we'll be okay. Ah, Scarafly, thank you for telling me that I... How... Uh, <laughs> oh my god, what the breedable. <laughs> yes, it's not every day that people come in here and tell me how breedable I look. <laughs> AA, my... <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> uh, thank you very much for the hundred bits. I do appreciate it. I hope you've been enjoying the videos. Ooh, the training goods. We could start to make the training goods, I guess, in the cooperage. Uh, no, we still don't actually have enough materials for it. Okay, we need more copper. Hmm. Okay, in that case, I could start to go over to these copper nodes, I think. Actually, is this a copper node right here? Yeah, this is a copper vein. Alright, I guess we could use the mine. Oh, we do need it on top of them. Okay, so now I think I'm beginning to understand this. Smokehouse clothier. Oh, lizard house. We already know how much... Oh, you know, another thing that I could do is just piss off all the other species and, like, favor the one that's closest to being actually happy. Yes, that would be acceptable. Oh, we have so much money. I... Who has this problem? I mean, all of the herbs. Uh, do you have anything that's like stone? You have brick that's kind of like stone-ish. Uh, maybe we could use it as a substitute in some way. Um, just give me everything to make my people happy and well. Yeah, the pickled goods especially. That would be great. 56. Um, 23. We'll just use some pottery too for God knows what. Just more meat in our lives is always good. And uh, give me those berries. There we go. 83. And give me a, another one of those. Okay, trade. Good deal. Right, I think that should be enough to make the lizards be permanently happy. 
because they do like pickled goods. After the storm, I will favor them. Uh, the harpies are now, yeah, the harpies resolve is low. That's not particularly good. I suppose at the end of that, we'll complete the last quest and then finish things off. Unless we already have one right here right now. Okay, just, uh, yeah. Uh, discovering glades, actually, uh, I think that glades is better for the types of tasks we've still got left. Okay, then we've also got this. We can deliver that, yeah. All right, we won. Honestly, I'll continue the settlement for another second. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. You don't get to, like, keep it with you? Yeah, I mean... Oh, actually, I think you do. <sighs> Though I kind of want to see what my world map looks like. Okay, and I did get some completed deeds. I want to see what that looks like back at the Citadel. So, I would say, like, in summation, I think it's a very cool game with a lot of original, new, and neat mechanics. And if you're into, like, city builders and roguelites, honestly, I haven't really seen too many games, like, do this. A campaign of cities built. Can you go back to the old ones? I'm not sure. I mean, like, they're still there. I think it's a very original concept. There's a couple things that I'm like, ooh, is this fun, this part? Like, but I keep unlocking new things, and I think that is gratifying. And I think that if you're into the whole, like, city building and the campaign type of thing. And I do very much like the vibe and the assets of this game. Like, the whole idea that there's this, this storm that's going on forever is just kind of, like, oddly cozy. Um, if, I may, if I may say such a thing. Um, uh, if I am, like, you know, the judge of cozy. The arbiter of... Um, of coziness, if you will. Anyway, that is to say, uh, I've been recommended this game a lot, and I did want to check it out. Um, and I do think it's pretty cool. Um, I guess I kind of skew more like cities on city builders, or that's what I'm like known for, because there always needs to be like politics involved somehow. As far as my like channel niche goes. Although, I found that the number of times that I was able to say lizard people throughout the stream made it very much, very much worthwhile. So, anyway, uh, against the storm, uh, again, big thanks uh, for the key. They did reach out with this. Um, Aramite Games and Two Hooded Horse, uh, who I believe I've... I want to say it's one other game we've they've sent me or something. Like that. I'm not sure. I'm trying to go back through my memory here. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I guess I'm going to leave it there.